in a comfortable seat. Um, it is um, a full moon and a lunar eclipse today um, in the in Denver area. It um, the timing it's supposed to start um, the shadow starting just um, just after nine, and it's supposed to come to a the full eclipse um, around 1030, 1040, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, and I believe it's a penumbral eclipse. So it doesn't turn the bright red, but it sort of does this like darkening this time instead. And the um, what's happening, what I've learned is that it's um, so the sun, no, I'm going to say it wrong. The sun is in Cancer and the moon is in Capricorn. Yes, that's right. Um, and those are opposing um, energies. So Capricorn tends to be really about um, duty and responsibility and obligation. And cancer is all about nurturing and nourishment and taking care of ourselves. And so it's really um, an opportunity to find the balance between those two. So um, as we practice today, just really kind of tuning into um, Finding that inner balance for yourself, whether it's within the breath, within the pose, within the practice as a whole, um, can be a nice way to uh, tune into that energy and kind of noticing are we, um, what do we need? Do we need to do, do we need more structure um, or do we need less structure and more nourishment and more of that, that um, self-care? So um just some different ways to think about how that can impact us. Um, and there are lots and lots of um, people who know a lot more about it than me who, can, who you can look up. The Power Path is a really good one um, also to talk about um, different aspects of the astrology related to it. But it definitely um, shifts the energy and um, we'll see. There was something else too I read about it kind of being a portal um, of time. And so um, one thing that you could do today, if you're so inclined, is to kind of write a list of things that you kind of want to let go of or leave behind. And um, then you can burn that list and then write a list of things that you love and that you want to continue forward in and kind of more actively think about what you want to bring with you past this eclipse. Just a few little things to consider. <laughs> All right. So finding our seat. Let's begin by rubbing the palms of our hands together, bringing focus and energy into the palms. I'll take the fingertips and gently brush them across the forehead, temples, and cheeks, brushing away any worries or expectations. Bring the fingertips to the eyes, palms to the cheeks, turning your attention inward. And take a couple of deep cleansing breaths. When you're ready, you can float your hands down. Keeping your eyes closed or having your gaze downward. Extend the spine up tall. And have the shoulders back and down. Lift your heart with each inhaling breath. Sitting bones sinking toward the earth with each exhale.
Tune in with three ohms. Feel free to join in or just absorb the vibrations. Take another deep breath in. Take a moment to absorb the vibrations of the mantra as it connects us all as one. Allow yourself to settle here this Saturday morning and set an intention for your practice, something you'd like to nurture or cultivate within yourself. Bringing your awareness back to the breath. Allow each inhale to bring you here, to this room, to this moment. Allow each exhale to release anything not needed for your practice today. With your next inhale, allow the belly to soften and ex expand. And as you exhale, draw the belly toward the back. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding on the inhale, contracting on the exhale. With your next inhaling breath, expand the belly and open the ribs, reaching them out to the side. And as you exhale, contract the belly and relax the ribs. Follow your body's rhythm, expanding and opening, contracting and relaxing. With your next inhale, expand the belly, open the ribs and lift the chest, creating space for your heart. And as you exhale, contract, relax and lower. Continue this full deep breath, expanding your lungs in all directions with each inhale. Completely releasing the breath with each exhale.
Continuing this full deep breath, let's move into Nadi Shodhana, the alternate nostril breath. Bringing the pointer finger and middle finger of the right hand between the eyebrows and the ring finger and thumb on either side of the nose. Taking another breath in and out. Gently closing the right nostril and inhaling through the left. Switch and exhale through the right. Inhale right. Switch and exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Continue following your breath with this pattern. Finding that balance between the sides of the body, heating and cooling. Do two more full rounds. When you reach the end of the exhale on the left side, gently float your hand down and return to your natural breath. Taking a moment to notice any changes you feel in your mind or body. Remembering that our breath is always with us to help find those moments of peace and calm. Bringing your awareness to your right hand, allow the tips of the thumb and pointer finger to come together and bring those fingertips to your heart center. Turning your attention deeper inward toward your heart, looking within for your inner light and your inner joy. As you find that connection with the light within you, allow its warm glow to flow on the breath throughout your entire body. As you find that connection with your inner joy, allow it to radiate up onto your face in a smile. and breathe it out into the space around you.
as we continue our practice, allow your light and joy to flow through each breath and movement, honoring all that you are in each moment. When you're ready, you can float your hand down, gently open your eyes. If you'd like to switch your legs or change positions, please feel free to do that. For some reason, I have a little numb foot today. <laughs> and with your next inhaling breath, let's scrunch the shoulders up by our ears. And as you exhale, press the shoulders back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Inhale, lift and squeeze. Exhale, back and down. Bring the hands in front of the chest, palms facing down. Tuck the shoulder blades back and down, lifting the heart. And gently press the elbows back toward each other, lifting the heart a little more, squeezing the center of the shoulder blades together, bringing out any tension. Then opening the arms wide, turning the palms up, lift the heart a little more, squeeze the lower corners of the shoulder blades toward each other, flexing through the wrists, Pressing through the palms if that feels okay. And then bringing the arms forward, crossing the right over the left. Bending at the elbows, hands back to back or left hand around the right wrist. Lift the elbows up to shoulder height, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Gently squeeze the arms together. Breathing into the upper back. And then if it feels okay, you can gently lower and lift the elbows, extending that stretch around the shoulders. And with your in next inhale, if it feels okay, you can lift up a little higher, gently arching. And with your exhale, folding forward, letting the weight of the arms open through the back, only going just as far forward as feels okay. And with your next inhale, back to center. Let's unwrap the arms, open wide, pressing through the palms. And then come back to the center, or left over the right elbows. Sorry, bending at the elbows, crossing the right hand over the left wrist, if that feels okay, or hands back to back. Elbows up to shoulder height, dropping the shoulders away from your ears, gently squeezing the arms together. Breathing into the upper back, jaw and neck are relaxed. And then gently lowering and lifting the elbows if that feels okay. And with the next inhale, if it feels okay, lifting the elbows up a little higher, gently arching. And as you exhale, folding forward, letting the weight of the arms open through the back a little more. And with the next inhale, lifting back to the center. We'll unwrap the arms. Let's bring them arms out at shoulder height. Turning the palms up, tucking the shoulder blades in. 
And as you exhale, keep the shoulder blades tuck and rotate the hands forward or the arms forward. Just follow the breath. And let's bring our hands together, interlacing the fingers. Press the palms out in front. Roll the shoulders forward, drop the chin round the spine. With your next inhale, lift the arms up over the head, gently arching. Exhale, round, pressing the palms away, drawing the belly back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. This time as you exhale, leave the palms up and drop the chin toward the chest. Softening the elbows, roll the shoulders back and gently squeeze the upper corners of the shoulder blades toward each other. Jaw and neck are relaxed. Wringing out that tension through the trapezius muscles. If it feels okay, press the palms up a little higher. With your next inhale, lift the chin. And as you exhale, float the hands down. Let's bring um, the left knee to meet the right. So we'll sit on the right hip. Feet are on the left side. You can keep a blanket underneath the hip if you like, or put one under the knee or not use it at all, <laughs> whatever feels best for you. Also, if you need the knees a little further apart, um, please go ahead and do that. We'll inhale the hands up behind the head, interlacing the fingers. And as you exhale, bring the left elbow toward the ankles. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach, hold and breathe. Dropping the right hip toward the mat, lift the heart. Right elbow reaches up toward the sky. Breathing into the right side of the body. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. As you exhale, float the hands down, bringing the left hand to the right knee, right hand behind the right hip. Lifting the heart, deep breath in. Exhale, twisting toward the right. Hold and breathe, lifting the heart with each inhale, gently twisting through each exhale. And with your next inhale, come back to the center and let the breath go. And we'll switch sides. So we'll sit on the left hip with the feet to the right. Again, adjusting with blankets or blocks, however feels more comfortable and stable for you. We'll inhale the hands behind the head. Exhale, right elbow toward the ankle. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach and hold and breathe. Dropping the left hip toward the mat, lifting the heart. Left elbow reaches up toward the sky. With your next inhale, lift up tall. As you exhale, float the hands down, right hand to the left knee, left hand behind the left hip. Deep breath in, lifting the heart. 
Exhale, gently twisting toward the left. Lifting the heart with each inhale, gently twisting through the exhale. And with your next inhaling breath, come back to the center and let the breath go. Let's extend our legs out in front of us. Scooting our feet down toward the end of the mat. It's a little smoky in the air this morning and I'm noticing more dryness. So. All right, spine tall, shoulders back and down, belly strong. You can have your hands on the legs or floor, toes pointing up toward the sky. Think about engaging the quadriceps by drawing the kneecaps up, gently lifting the heels off the floor. Again, you can do that one leg at a time if you prefer. Really trying to pay attention to not hyperextending the back of the knees. So finding that balance between action and relaxing. One more breath. And with your exhale, soften the legs. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, gently fold forward. Hands resting on the legs, floor, or feet. With your inhale, lift the chin, gently reaching through the spine. Exhale, soften. Ribs coming toward the thigh. Keeping the back of the neck nice and long, but the chin gently away from the chest. Breathe into any tightness or tension. Gently softening around it. Letting go. Your next exhale, soften just a little bit more. And then with your inhale, lift up tall. We'll slide the hands behind us, bringing the, or having the fingertips pointing toward the hips. Again, we can work with inclined plane here or bending the knees, feet, hip width apart, lifting here into reverse table. So find, um, the version that feels right for you today. Think about really rolling those shoulders back, bending the elbows, getting those uh, triceps in the upper arms engaged. With your next inhale, press the hips up high. Exhale, gently lower, hovering if that feels okay. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower and hover. Inhale, lift, hold and breathe if that feels okay, or continue coming up and down, listening to your body. Neck is nice and long or chin tucked toward the chest. Hips reaching high, elbows slightly bent. And with your next exhale, we'll gently lower down, shake out those wrists. And then let's roll the rest of the way down. Gently scan up the body, noticing any parts that feel tired, achy, or sore. Honoring yourself and your body by listening to its messages. Pushing yourself to your edge, but not beyond it. 
and remembering that each time you do yoga, your body is a little bit different. Let's bend the right leg, floating the hands to the knee as you draw it in toward the chest. Shoulders tucked back and down, neck is nice and long. Gently soften around the hips. Keeping the left hand on the knee, allow the right arm to fall out to the side, palm facing down. And with your exhale, gently twist over the left side of the body. Vision toward the right arm, as far as feels okay for your neck. Release the muscles around the hip. Easing the spine into the twist. With your next inhale, come back to the center. Extending the leg up toward the sky, take hold behind the hamstrings, calf or ankle. As you exhale, toes reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, flexing, pressing through the heel. Follow your breath, releasing the front and the back of the leg. Now begin to make slow, gentle circles with your ankle, stretching the foot as far as it can go in each direction. And reverse the circles. Reaching through the heel, gently draw the sitting bones down, arching the low back. And then gently tuck the pelvis, drawing the leg toward the torso, just as far as feels okay. Reaching through the heel, engaging the belly muscles. With your next exhaling breath, lift the head and chest toward the leg. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue to come up and down, listening to your body. Reaching through the heel, belly muscles are drawn down, neck is nice and long. If it feels okay, you could add an extra challenge by flexing the left foot and gently lifting it an inch or two off the floor. And if you'd like, you can release the hands as well. Belly muscles are doing the work. Neck is nice and long. And gently lowering the leg, the left leg. Inhale, lowering the head. Exhale, slowly lowering the right leg. Once you reach the floor, take a deep breath in and out. Let's bend the left leg, floating the hands to the knee as you draw it in toward the chest. Shoulders tuck under, neck is nice and long, softening around the hip. Keeping the right hand on the knee, allow the left arm to fall out to the side, palm facing down. And as you exhale, gently twist over the right side of the body. Vision toward the left as much as feels okay for your neck. 
Release the muscles around the hip. Easing the spine into the twist. With your next inhaling breath, come back to the center, extending the leg up toward the sky. Take hold behind the hamstrings, calf or ankle. As you exhale, toes reach toward the ceiling. Inhale, flexing, pressing through the heel. Follow your breath, releasing the front and the back of the leg. Now begin to make slow, gentle circles with your ankle, stretching your foot as far as it can go in each direction. Reverse the circles. Reaching through the heel, gently drop the sitting bones, arching the low back slightly. Then sucking the pelvis, drawing the belly muscles down, and drawing the leg toward the torso just as far as feels okay. Reaching through the heel with your next exhaling breath, lift the head and chest toward the leg. Inhale, lower the head and chest. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Hold and breathe if that feels okay or continue coming up and down, listening to the body. Neck is nice and long, belly muscles are strong, reaching through the heel. If it feels okay, you can add the other leg, gently flexing the right foot, lifting it an inch or two off the floor. And if you'd like, you can release the hand. Gently lowering the right leg. With your inhale, lower the head and chest. And as you exhale, slowly lower the left leg. Once you reach the floor, take a deep breath in and out. Let's bring our knees out to the side and bring the soles of our feet together. Shoulders tucked under, arms slightly away from the body. As you come to your next exhale, gently slide the feet away from you, keeping the toes touching. So once they start to come apart, you can stop there. And then with your inhale, gently draw the feet up toward the groin as much as feels comfortable. And follow your breath. Exhale, extending out. Inhale, gently drawing toward the groin. And then the next time your feet are up toward the groin, gently soften around the hips and just rest there, letting go, noticing where you may have some tightness either on the inner or outer hip area. Sending the breath there, allowing it to soften. If, it's, if you're in any pain and you need to, Put a hand under the leg or come bring the knees together. Please go ahead and listen to your body.
and gently bringing the hands underneath the thighs, lift the knees back together. Bring the knees over the torso, gently hugging them in. Lengthening through the neck. With your next exhaling breath, lift the head and chest toward the knees. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Once more, lift. And lower. Let's spread the knees wide taking hold either behind the knees or reaching the arms between the legs, taking hold of the arches of the feet. From either position, bring the soles of the feet to face the ceiling. Knees easing outside of the ribs. Neck is nice and long, low back sinking toward the mat. Consciously soften around the hips. Relax the muscles of the face. Surrendering into Ananda Balasana, happy baby pose. And let's lower the feet, bring the knees back together. From here, you can either roll to your right side, pressing up with the hands, or slip the hands behind the knees, kicking the feet over the head, and gently rock up. And let's come on to our hands and knees. So we'll bring the hands under the shoulders, Knees under the hips. Softening the elbows so the inner elbows are facing each other. Shoulder blades are tucked back and down, head extends out from the spine. Take a breath in and out in your strong table pose. And with your next inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the spine, lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the tailbone around the spine, drop the chin. Inhale, lifting, spine follows. Exhale, rounding. Follow your breath, strengthening on the inhale, releasing on the exhale. One more breath. And with your next inhale, come back to table pose. Softening those elbows. Let's reach back through the right leg, dropping the right hip, flexing the foot so, uh, and pressing back through the heel, engaging all the muscles of the leg. Lift the heart, lift the leg a little higher if that feels okay. Making sure that left hip isn't pulling away to the outside of the knee, stacking it over it. And if it feels okay, extending the left arm out. We'll float the hand down, round the spine, drawing the knee in toward the chest. And then lowering the knee back down underneath the hip. Soften the elbows, head extends out, belly draws up. We'll reach back to the left leg, dropping the left hip so the hips are parallel to the mat, flexing the foot, Reaching through the heel, engaging all the muscles of the leg. 
lift the heart, lift the leg a little higher if that feels okay. Keeping that right hip stacked over the knee. And if it feels okay, extending that right arm out. And we'll bring the hand down, round the spine, drawing the knee in toward the chest. And then we'll lower the knee back down. Let's come up into a kneeling position and we'll work with um, camel pose. So if you would like um, to have a little more padding under your knees, please make sure you add that in. If you would like blocks to reach back to also have those nearby, um, near your uh, ankle. <laughs> So we'll start with the hands on the small of the back, We're pressing the shoulders back, sorry, the elbows back toward each other. Actively press into the knees, lift up through the spine. As you actively push into those knees, feeling the quads engage, take a breath in and out. With your next inhale, let's lift up and over the hands, gently arching. And as you exhale, lift up tall. Again, inhale, reaching back. And exhale, lifting up. Can continue working with that version of camel, or if you would like to work either with the toes tucked under or um, the feet flat, you can work with one arm reaching. You can also do this with the blocks and then the other. Sometimes it's nice to just to go through each variation to make sure that the back is nice and warmed up before we move into that full camel. Just following your breath. And you can continue either one of those or you can move into full camel. Again, either with the toes tucked under or the feet flat or using the blocks on the side, reaching back, lifting the heart, hold and breathe, pressing the hips forward. Opening the heart. Holding as long as feels okay. When you're ready, you can use one arm to lift up, pull forward, rotate the other arm to forward, and then come into child's pose. Or recline puppy if that feels better for your knees. <coughs> Excuse me. Having something for the forehead to rest on, releasing the back of the neck. Breathing into the spine, creating space between the vertebrae. And we'll gently roll the spine up. <coughs> Excuse me. Just really dry today. I think I need a humidifier in here. <laughs> and shoulders up and back and down. Let's come back onto our knees and we'll turn to face the long end of the mat. We'll start with extending the right leg out. Can have the toes um, facing toward the front of the mat or toward the side, whichever feels best for you right now. We'll work with gate pose. 
So the left hip is stacked over the left knee, right hand rests on the right leg. Heart is lifted. With your inhale, lift the left arm up by your ear. And as you exhale, reach across the body. And you don't go as far when we, go, when we do lateral bends in this pose because we have all this leg in the way. So don't worry about that. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Hold and breathe, pressing into the knee, lifting up through the shoulder and the side body. You can even gently turn your vision toward your hand, helping to lengthen. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. And exhale, we'll float the hand down, placing it on the floor. Let's bring the right arm over the ear and gently arch back. Getting a nice stretch through the right side of the body. And then if it feels okay, you could float the right arm up out of the shoulder and lift the right leg coming into a modified half moon. We'll lower that leg down, come back up onto, into kneeling. Take a breath or two. Just kind of notice how each side of the body feels. And then when you're ready, we can extend that left leg out to the side. Again, toes can face forward or to the side, whatever feels best for your body. Right hip stacks over the right knee. Left hand rests on the left leg. Inhale the right arm up by the ear, lengthening. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Inhale, lift. Exhale, reach. Hold and breathe, pressing into that right knee. Lifting through the heart, vision can gently turn up toward the palm of the hand, really opening the side of the body. And with your next inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, we'll float that right hand to the mat. Reaching that left arm over the ear. Be a little bit of an arch as you rotate the shoulder back. Really opening through the left side. And then if you'd like, you can float that left arm up out of the shoulder and lift the left leg coming into that modified half moon. And we'll lower the leg, lift the torso back up, and bring the knees back together. And let's tuck our toes under, press the hips up, coming into forward bend, Uttanasana. Bringing our hips, up, excuse me, our feet about hip width apart. Spreading those toes wide, softening the knees, can use a block underneath the hands if you if that feels more stable right now. Think about softening through the back of the neck. Ribs coming toward the thighs. Really releasing and bringing ease through the upper body and the neck. And then beginning to gently press into the feet and lifting the sitting bones just as far as feels okay. So the upper body is relaxed with ease, the lower body is activated, rooting into the earth, lifting the hips toward the sky.
softening the knees. Let's just sweep the arms out as we inhale, bringing the arms over the head, palms together, and exhale, hands to the heart. So I'd like to work with um, the Rishi twist today, which I feel like it's been a while since we've done for our balance. And so in case you don't remember it, um, it's where we bring the palms out, we lift onto the toes and balance, and then we lower down, sliding the left hand down, turning vision toward the right hand. Then we'll come back again with the balance and then sliding down the opposite side. So we're doing a balance, twist, and forward bend all at the same time. <laughs> all right, so making sure that you have a stable, grounded place and using a focus spot for your gaze when we lift up onto the toes and remembering that you don't have to lift those heels up super high, um, but spreading those toes wide, spine tall, shoulders back and down, belly strong, and be soft. Take a breath in and out. With the next inhale, we'll bring the arms at shoulder height, lifting onto the balls of the feet. And as you exhale, slide the left hand down, the right leg vision toward the right hand. So that right palm turns to the outside. Inhale, coming back up, balancing on the toes. Exhale. Right hand slides down, the left leg, left palm faces out as our division turns toward it. Inhale, center, lifting. Exhale, lower down the right leg. Inhale, lift. Knees bent can help with the balance too. Exhale, down the left leg. We'll do once more on each side. And then lower down. Do a little floppy twist. And then let's um, take our time real fast here. Come to the end of the mat and we'll step back with the left leg. Having our hips facing the long end of the mat, let's inhale the arms out, shoulder height. As we exhale, we're gonna bend the right leg, stacking that knee over the right ankle, vision over the right hand. Pressing actively into the feet, connecting with the earth, sending our roots down through our feet. Tuning in to your own heart. Thinking about what do you need in this moment to nurture your spirit? Strength, energy, patience, drawing it up through the legs from the earth, breathing it into your heart, filling it up to overflowing and letting that overflow gently go out through the fingertips into the world. As we hold here, we're being strong warriors for ourselves, honoring our own needs, setting those boundaries that we need to take care of ourselves. With your next inhaling breath, straighten the legs and lift the arms up over the head. And as you exhale, bend and drop the arms. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. 
Follow your breath a few more times. Letting that energy that you drew up flow through you. And then we'll gently come back to a stable position, arms at shoulder height. And with your next inhale, straighten the leg and float the hands down. We'll switch our legs. Left foot points toward the short end of the mat. Right heel drops back, hips facing the long end of the mat. Inhale the arms out at shoulder height. Exhale, bending that left knee, stacking the knee over the ankle, walking those toes out a little further if you need to. Vision toward the left hand, rooting into the feet, pressing actively into both feet, making sure both legs are engaged. Shoulders are soft, heart is lifted. Feeling those roots drop down through your feet into the earth. This time thinking about what you believe the world needs in this moment. Drawing it up from the earth into your heart. Filling it up. And then sending that energy into the world to all beings. As we stand as peaceful warriors for all humanity, all beings. Sending energy of peace and compassion, kindness, anything else that you feel the world needs. And with your next inhale, again, we'll lift the arms up, straightening the leg. Exhale, dropping into the lunge and bringing the arms down. Follow your breath, lifting and lowering. Envisioning all that energy you drew up, spreading out through the world as your arms sweep up and down. And with your next exhale, coming back to Warriors 2, Virabhadrasana 2. Holding the space. And with your next inhale, gently straighten the leg, and close the hands down. Let's turn both feet to face the long end of the mat. We'll inhale the arms up over the head. Exhale, swan dive, hips out behind us, dropping the hands underneath the shoulders onto the floor or block. Soften the knees. And if you'd like to walk the feet out a little further, feel free to do that. Pressing actively into the feet, knees are soft, lifting up through the sitting bone. We'll gently walk the hands over toward the right leg, hands on the floor block or leg, turning the torso to face the thigh, lengthening down over the leg. Right foot presses into the floor as the hip reaches up toward the sky. Let's bring the hands to the mat. We'll lift the toes of the right foot and bring them to, to point toward the short end of the mat, placing our hands on the inside of the foot, turning onto the toes of the back leg coming in to lizard pose. You can stay on the hands or bring the forearms to the mat. 
your foot can stay flat or you can drop the knee out to the side. Then we'll come back onto the hands and let's drop the back knee down. You can lift the foot, stretching through the front of the calf. If it feels okay, you can bring that right leg back, taking hold of the foot and drawing it toward the hip. And we'll release the foot. Tuck the toes under, come back to that wide-legged forward bend. Take a breath in and out. And then we'll walk the hands over toward the left foot, hands on the floor, block or leg, turning the torso to face the thigh as you lengthen down over the leg. Pressing into the left foot as the left hip reaches toward the sky. We'll bring the hands to the mat. Lift the toes of the left foot to point toward the short end of the mat, bringing the hands on the inside of the foot. Turning onto the toes of the back foot, coming into lizard pose. Again, you can have the hands on the floor coming down onto forearms. Your foot can stay flat or you can drop the knee out to the side and the right knee can be in the air or on the mat. Coming back onto the hands, Let's drop the back knee down. Again, you can bend the knee as far as feels okay, bringing that foot toward the hip. And if it feels okay, you could sweep that left hand back, drawing the foot toward the hip a little more, giving him a little more stretch in the front of the thigh. One more release. And we'll come back to the center. Dropping the torso as far as feels okay, pressing into the feet, lifting the sitting bones up toward the sky. And we'll walk our feet closer toward each other, stopping just outside of hip width apart. If you'd like to use the block for Malasana squat, place it in the center behind the heels. We'll begin dropping the hips down, bringing the hands to the heart. And we can work with the upper, the, the version where we're a little higher, working on strengthening around the hips. You can work on opening by dropping the hips down to the block or by the heels. You can also come all the way to the mat, walking those feet a little further out. Pressing either into the, excuse me, the elbows or upper arms into the thighs or knees, depending on your position. Hands to the heart. Tailbone reaches toward the floor, crown of the head lifts up. Listening to your body. When you're ready, gently lowering the rest of the way down if you aren't there already. And coming back to a cross-legged position. <clears throat> Lengthening the spine up tall, shoulders back and down. Inhale, reaching through the crown of the head. Exhale, dropping the right ear over the right shoulder. Hold and breathe. Right shoulder tucks back and down as you breathe into the left side of the neck. 
If it feels okay, you can bring the right, nope, left arm <laughs> behind the low back, drawing that shoulder down a little bit more. Breathing gently. Practicing letting go instead of forcing. And with your next inhale, come back to the center, release the left arm. And as you exhale, drop the left ear over the left shoulder, tucking that left shoulder back and down as you breathe into the right side of the neck. And if you'd like to add the right arm across the low back, go ahead and do that. Using the out breath to help you let go. And with your next inhale, come back to the center releasing the right arm. As you exhale, turn your chin over your right shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, turn the chin over the left shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, right. Inhale, center. Exhale, left. Follow your breath once more with each side. And eating in the center and letting the breath go. Let's bend the knees in front of us, coming to the center of the mat, rounding the spine, dropping the chin, rolling back gently. We'll lift the feet up toward the sky, rocking the hands or a block underneath the hips. Lengthen through the neck. Soften through the knees and the ankles and breathe into the belly. And we'll bend the knees, rock the hands out from under the hips, hugging the knees in toward the chest. You can rock a little side to side. You can make small circles, drawing the knees in and out. Reversing those. And then if you'd like one last twist, Bring the arms out at shoulder height, knees together, dropping the knees to the right, vision to the left. With your next inhale, bringing the knees back to the center and exhale, dropping the knees to the left, vision to the right.
Inhale back to the center. And gently lower the feet down. Preparing for Shavasana. You could walk the knees out to, or the feet out to the edges of the mat, resting the knees together. Place a bolster under the knees, extending the legs out over it, or just extend the legs out. So whichever feels best for you today. Tucking the shoulders under, arms slightly away from the body with the palms turned up. If your feet are extend or legs are extended, have the feet about hip width apart. If you feel any coolness in the, in the room that you're in, make sure you cover up a little so that you keep the heat in the body. Relax your forehead. Soften your eyes. Loosen your jaw. Gently bring your awareness back to the breath. Allowing each inhale to fill you with a sense of peace, calm, Allowing each exhale to release anything that no longer serves you. Release the muscles from the bones, rendering them to the earth. Feeling its strength and support beneath you. Let the breath bring you back to your heart center. Reconnecting with the light and joy that always reside deep within your heart. Let each breath fill your heart with loving kindness for yourself. Sending that loving kindness to each and every cell of your body. Honoring all of who you are in this moment.
Really begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Stretch in whatever way feels comfortable for you. And gently bend your knees. Roll to your side and rest there for a moment. And then gently return to a seated position. I'll we'll end with our meta blessing of loving kindness. Please feel free to join in. May all beings be safe. May all beings be happy. May all beings be healthy. May all beings have peace. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature. May all beings be free. The light in me honors the light in you. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace to the world, to our communities, and to ourselves. Well, thank you all so much for joining me today.